Good evening, guys. This is UD from Unified Networking Club. Uh, time is gone, and we created the newest, newest versions of Unified Networking Club. We fixed a lot of bugs, added new features. Uh, we, we made Unified Networking Club faster for booting, and, and so on and so on. But in this video, I would like to show you how to create and use your custom topologies over the original web topology which is active and clickable so i created some simple topology i will not show yeah it's a how, I, how i created it in previous videos you you should know about this but as you see it's some changes some icons yeah here yeah, it's but you can do it uh, very easy yourself yeah it's just clicking on it uh, any note yeah it's and and you can change an icon and yeah, say so choose the desktop yeah it's it looks nice yeah but unfortunately sometimes we need in the lab some uh, to show some areas and to show some ip addressing subnets and an interface interface markings you can see here yes yeah, but uh, information what we can see here is poor and uh, we have to use sometimes some paper on on, on the second screen yeah it's so to to check the topology where and how and what we should do so i created uh, a topology the same topology but looks better on the visio and i'm using the visio 2013 and you can see that we we have it's uh, the better interface connection some subnets uh, that's markings of the zones a corporate zone and so on so on so the first step after I created this uh, this topology on the visio i'm going to save my topology to PNG format. So I'm going to say save as, all right, uh, choosing the format of PNG. This is important. PNG format is accepted in UNL. So I am going to rename my some topology to some free name. That's top number one. Okay, save. So I recommend to use, yeah, it's by default, it will be screen printer source, but I'm, I'm recommending to use and choose 130 and 130. Um, I tested a lot and uh, this resolution will be the best and for you and now it will be clear, nice. Yeah, it's and I tested a lot of labs, but in the same time, uh, your picture will be saved. It's a tiny, which is good. Yeah, it will be faster for opening in the web. So I'm going to say OK and save. Cool. Let's check it. Simple topology topo number one. Let's open. Yeah, you can see this topology here. And we are going to load this image now to UNL. OK, let's go back to UNL. So here is my topology. We are going to now, the first step, under actions, you can see that the pictures. So the first thing is uh, when you are doing this, you have to be sure that you have in edit mode of this lab. Then I'm going to actions and you're going to see a pictures. I'm choose the pictures. Free name, let's say main topology. Choose the file which I, which I just created. It is topo number one. Okay, so good. Add, good. Next step, attachments and the pictures. You can see that my lab main topology appeared like in a small, small icon, and we are going now to edit. Right click, edit. You can see screen is uh, popped up, and you can see the mappings. You can drag and drop for better use and <clears throat> better uh, better to see what I'm doing here. Uh, but before we start to uh, edit this topology and make this clickable for you for next use, let me open the second screen of the same IP address and the same UNL lab. It will be necessary to know which node numbers is for this topology so what does it mean uh there is a known there is a just in a view format yeah it's and uh, no need to go and send some edit yeah so i'm going to objects and the objects it is absolutely important to know which id i know the id numbers is for each your device and this sequence is very important when you are starting to edit your picture so what i'm doing 
So you, you can see this. So cool. Uh, going back and I'm making the clicks. I recommend to click only one on yeah it's it is not recommendation but it is mandatory and i'm saying the click only once on device i recommend to click on the top of the point of uh, node yeah it's on the on this picture and let's do it once i click it click you can see that in the map on the bottom in the map it appeared some coordinates okay i'm going to click on second node which node number two is my r g uh, gateway r1 okay the second coordination appears so let's check so which is node number three node number three is my host ad server and dns server okay let's do the host click on the host so it appeared ad server was number four right ad server is number four okay i'm going to click on ad click uh dns server was uh number five okay and six seven eight is switch one two three okay let's do on the switches switch one switch two switch three and the rest is asa v and we are going to click on asa v so here we are and you can see now here is a, so and now we are going to change it's automatically giving us it it is a telnet to ip ip is, is is your ip of your unl and nothing nothing needs to be changed here for telnet nodes okay telnet nodes one is okay but telnet node we click it on tel, uh, on node two that's i'm going to change node number two and the sequence it's node number three four five six seven eight and nine but let me a little bit explain about know the number nine know the number nine is using how to how to know it's because all these nodes around are using the telnet sessions when you are clicking but ACV is using V and C but by default you can see that in this point here is a telnet we have to change it to V and C how to know which node to use V and C or telnet you know, we can go to the second topology and uh, in edit mode for example and if you are clicking on an edit this node, you can see that the console is used for VNC. Cool. So this is important point to know which node is telnet, which is VNC. Later in, in some uh, later in advanced videos of tuning your custom topologies, I will show you that even HTTPS can be used as a protocol on the click if you need to call out, for example, uh, ICE or, or or VSA, VSA web faces. Yeah, it is it is possible now in UNL and that works great. So my coordination is done on the clicks, and I'm saying to save good topology is saved now next step open the lab and under the attachments you can see that main topology appears and just a click on it and now you can see if i'm moving my mouse and you can see the finger appears and it is and all nodes are clickable let me start this lab i'm going to pause um, I'm going to start how to start topology. Yeah, it's if you are using the custom topology, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's you are going to main screen of main topology and let's say the start all nodes and I will pause now while my all nodes starts. So my all nodes started and now I'm going to my attachments, pictures and clicking just on a pick that your topologies pop up you can close and on to uh, right upper corner just that way so and your topology is ready to use let's try click look at this click to r1 cool uh, click on host ad server these guys are that simple uh, iol routers and just just for uh, test purposes i took them so
so and my favorite switches which is Arista yeah, you can see that everything works fine yeah that's cool and the last one is ASA and when I click on ASA you remember that I changed the telnet to VNC that's mean if I'm clicking to ASA it should open up the VNC session to this ASA let's do it look at this and here we are so this was a very simple way how to use and create you can uh, you can make your uh, topologies just uh, let's say you uh, using the snipping tool yeah it's and uh, just to cut off some topologies if you wish yeah, it's uh, from your workbooks and you can load and make them clickable very very easy so in the next advanced uh, advanced uh, custom topology i will show you how to use uh, some other protocols like https when you need to call out ice acs uh, or some other things so thank you very much for viewing and See you on the next videos. Bye.